Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of days, I've posted two videos letting you know that Microsoft had revealed how Windows is evolving into an agentic OS. And I'll leave two previous videos linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like to play catch up. Now it seems that Microsoft now has given us an explanation how this is all going to work and what it sees as an agentic OS. And that's all according to this Microsoft support document, which is quite in-depth. I'll leave it linked down below if you'd like to go read up um, for yourself. I'm just skimming over the highlights for the purpose of this video as to not draw things out. Now, Microsoft says, and I'm quoting, Windows is committed to making agentic experiences with apps more productive and secure for individuals and enterprises. As part of this vision, Windows is introducing a new experimental feature called Agent Workspace, available in a private developer preview for Windows 11 insiders in a release coming soon. This early preview, Microsoft says, reflects our phased approach to delivering agentic capabilities, starting with limited access to gather feedback and strengthen foundational security. Agent Workspaces, Microsoft carries on to say, represent a key step in enabling intelligent, agent-powered computing. Security in this context is not a one-time feature, it's a continuous commitment. As agentic features evolve, so will our security controls adapting to each phase of rollout from preview to broad availability. Now, if you're asking the question, what is an agentic workspace? This is Microsoft's explanation. Once again, I'm quoting. An agent workspace is a separate contained space in Windows where you can grant agents access to your apps and files so they can complete tasks for you in the background while you continue to use your device. Each agent operates using its own account distinct from your personal user account. This dedicated agent account, Microsoft says, establishes clear boundaries between agent activity and your own, enabling scoped authorization and runtime isolation as a result, you can delegate tasks to agents while retaining full control, visibility into agent actions and the ability to manage access at any time. So this is how Microsoft is explaining what this agent workspace and an agentic OS is going to be all about at this stage. Now, Microsoft says, if we head back to the support article, Microsoft says that Agent Workspace is only enabled when you toggle on the experimental agentic feature setting. The feature is off by default, which is good to know. Okay, so we have a toggle switch and it's off by default. Now, there is a bit of a security implication with this because Microsoft says, we recommend that you only enable this feature if you understand the security implications outlined on this page. This setting can only be enabled by an administrator, user of the device, and once enabled, it's enabled for all users on the device, including other administrators and standard users. And this raises a bit of a privacy flag, but nonetheless. Then Microsoft says, once the feature is on, the experimental agentic feature setting enables the creation of agent accounts that provide agents with their own separate account on your device when acting on your behalf, Windows is using a phased approach to add stricter rules for agent accounts in upcoming releases. The creation of the agent workspace, where agents can work in parallel with a human user, enabling runtime isolation and scoped authorization. This provides the agent with capabilities like its own desktop, while limiting the visibility and accessing the agent has to the user's desktop activity. And then number three, Microsoft says, Agentic apps like Copilot can request and get access to these six commonly used folders in your user profile directory while running in the agent workspace. Documents, downloads, desktop, music, pictures, and videos. And if we scroll down to this section, file access in agent workspace, Microsoft says, Agentic accounts have limited access to your user profile while operating in the agent workspace. If an agent needs to access if an agent needs access to files in that directory, Windows grants read and write access to the following known folders as mentioned, documents, downloads, desktop, videos, pictures, music. When the setting is enabled, you may have these folders in the standard location or you may have redirected them elsewhere on the file system. So that's just the long and the short of this, guys. So 
basically an agent workspace is going to be a separate contained space in the actual operating system according to Microsoft what we know currently from this support document but there does look like there's going to be a bit of a security implication but the good news is at this stage you are able to turn the setting off because it is off by default and if you do decide to enable it it looks like you will be able to turn this feature off which is good news it's still early days i'm keeping my ear to the ground with this so that's more or less what microsoft is saying about windows evolving as i've been posting into an agentic os go check the previous two videos out it'll just help you play catch up and connect the dots so let me know what you guys think would you like an agent workspace in a separate contained space in windows is this a feature that you think you would use let me know your thoughts down below always interested to hear and i'm going to keep my ear to the ground with this and as i get the info i'll keep you guys in the loop so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one